we shall now talk about writing the logic of a problem which involves calculating the area of a triangle using heron's formula let's try to read and understand the problem definition first so the problem is asking us to calculate the area only of a valid triangle using heron's formula by the word valid triangle it means a triangle in which the sum of any two sides are greater than the third side pardon me for example a plus b should be greater than c b plus c should be greater than a and a plus c should be greater than b that means the sum of any two sides should be greater than the third side so in order to calculate the area of a triangle using heron's formula we require to read the three sides of a triangle namely a b and c so i shall store the length of three sides of that triangle in three memory locations whose names are a b and c for those of you who know heron's formula heron's formula is area is given by square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c this s stands for half perimeter which is basically calculated as a plus b plus c divided by 2 so i have one variable called as s and i have another variable called as area to capture the final result so if you see here i just need to get the values of a b and c i need to calculate s as well as i need to calculate area now what i'm going to do is the first step as in any algorithm start then i'm going to declare three sides a b c and s and area i have not given them any values because i am going to read the three sides of a triangle from the user via keyboard or any other device he prefers so since i am going to calculate s and area i have not bothered to give initial values for any one of these now the next step what i need to do is before i can go ahead and calculate the area of a triangle i need to first check whether that particular triangle is valid or not so what i will do for that is in step number 3 i'll ask a question is a plus b greater than c and b plus c greater than a and a plus c greater than b what it means is any two sides must be greater than the third side it is not okay only if a plus b is greater than c and this and this are not holding or false all the three sides this condition should work so assume i enter a valid triangle something like 10 5 and say 7 okay this can be an example of a valid triangle so here what i am doing here is once the user enters the sides a b c i am proceeding to calculate s s is assigned a plus b plus c by 2 the reason i have this in bracket is because when you are typing it in most computer languages unlike maths you do not have a large base here you cannot put a underline below a plus b plus c it will after c only you have to put the underline so in order to avoid c being divided by 2 and adding that result to a plus b i should put this entire thing in bracket because i want a plus b plus c divided by 2 once i get yes then it is easy for me to calculate the area i am going to say area is square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c now almost all modern languages will have a library code or a built in facility to calculate the square root of a given number so first this will evaluate to a single number and that number's square root will be calculated and the result of that will get assigned or copied to a sorry to area then i am going to write area is and print the value of area now there is also a possibility that the triangle is invalid like suppose i have a triangle of sides 2 20 and 5 this is definitely going to be an invalid triangle in that case what i need to do here is i need to say else write invalid triangle and then stop this is an example of using if and else if if is true this block of code within this flower bracket is going to get executed if this condition is false only then this invalid triangle will get executed as we have done previously the only way to know if our logic is correct is to do a dry run or a test run so first what i am doing here is in my test plan i have created three columns a b c s area i am not bothered because that's a final calculation 
So I read A, B and C. It happens to be 7, 5 and 9. Now I will come to this condition. 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 is greater than 9. Then B plus C. 9 plus 5 is 14. 14 is greater than 7. A plus C. 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 is greater than 5. So now this condition is true. I will come to S. S is going to be okay a plus b plus c divided by 2 if you add all of this it's 21 divided by 2 s becomes 10.5 what i am going to do is 10.5 into 10.5 minus 7 so this is going to be 10.5 into 3.5 this is going to be into 4.5 into 0 0.5 so i am multiplying 10.5 into 3.5 into 4.5 into 0 0.5 once I multiply this, I am getting a number somewhere like 82.69 approximately. I send this to the square root library code. This calculates the library. This library function calculates the value of this square root. 82.69 is approximately going to be 9 point something. Then I am going to print the area as this particular calculated area. So once this gets executed, I am going to come here and stop. Now let's take a look at a case of one more set of values. A is 3, B is 14, C is 2. 3 plus 14 is greater than 2 is true. 14 plus 2 is greater than, that is 16 is greater than 3 is fine. But here 3 plus 2, 5 is not greater than 14. So this condition becomes false because I expect all these individual parts to be true. Since it is false, it will come here, right invalid triangle and stop. So in this particular algorithm, I showed you the logic how you can go and calculate the area of a valid triangle using Heron's formula.